Hi, this is Maria Otero, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a tree generator. So I've opened my document, a 5x7 card template, and I've inserted a pre-made background into it, one that I've constructed using some scrapbook paper and some photography that I've used. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new blank layer. Then let's come up to our filter menu, let's choose Render, and then let's choose tree. We get the dialog box for our tree generator. I'm going to start by choosing a tree type and here I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose pine tree 1. I'm going to um, have the opportunity to look at all these settings for my trees. I'm going to leave my light direction set at 140, my leaves amount at 84, my leaves size at 113, branch height at 17, thickness 110 and I'm going to check default leaves on and click OK. And there Photoshop will happily generate for me my tree. I'm going to go ahead and grab my move tool and I'm just going to resize my tree and position it where I would like. I'm going to pop it in the back left hand corner here and just pull the size down slightly. I'm going to duplicate this tree twice so I'm going to press Ctrl or Command J and I'm going to duplicate the tree and drag it underneath my first tree so that it's actually going to be behind it. I'm going to resize my tree and reposition it and then I'm going to go back up to my layer 1 copy that once more Ctrl or Command J and move that tree and resize it also. Then for interest let's add another tree into the document. Now the tree generator applies itself to a current layer so if you want the new tree on a different layer you have to add a new blank layer. So let's go ahead and add a new blank layer to the document. Go to our filter menu and let's choose render and let's choose tree. This time I'm going to choose a different tree. I'm going to come down to my selector panel and at the very bottom, which is actually off the window, I'm going to choose Stylized Tree 2. And there it's going to give me an interesting looking pine tree. Now I'm going to change my uh, default leaves to say something different this time. And let's go ahead and choose Leaves 5. And you'll see it makes a slight difference in the tree structure. So let's maybe increase the size of the leaves a little bit and decrease the leaf amount since it's a winter tree and let's pull our branch thickness down to about 105 and I'm going to click OK. Again grab my move tool and reposition my tree to where I want it and there we go and that's how you use the tree generator. Now I want to add a little bit more atmosphere to my image so I'm going to go ahead and make a new blank layer, go ahead and get my brush tool. I want it set to white color and I'm going to go ahead and grab a snow brush and we've actually provided these for you in your file folder in our Facebook group. So let's go ahead and get my brush properties and I want to go to my brush tip shape. I'm going to increase the spacing to about a hundred percent Let's get my shape dynamics and increase my size jitter to about 40% and my angle jitter as well to around 35. Let's change our scattering value again. Let's put that to just about 9%. Change my count to 4 and count jitter to about 15. Now those are all very random values. You can change those to suit yourself. So let's make my brush a little bit smaller. I've got my opacity set at 90% and my color is white. And I'm just going to come along and put a little bit more snow in here around the base of the tree. Remember the snow falls up the sides and around the base of a tree. Let's apply our snow to the other ones. I'm just going to use this to blend the trees into the background. Let's increase the size of my brush and let's put some snowflake drops coming down through the sky. And vary the size of that brush somewhat. 
just to give a nice random look. I've got some other snowflake brushes here that I've been using. These are all available free on the internet, so I'm just going to go and pop a few little different stars into my image as well. And there you have it. That's how to use the tree generator. Again, you can find it in your filter, render menu, and choose tree. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'm Maria Otero, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.